there are no rules in makeup, so I'm gonna do what I wanna do. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And today I'm gonna be doing a full face of using some of my favorite products, but I'm also doing something a little bit different. Um, it's fall and you know all the looks are a little bit, you know, the browns and the greens and things like that, which they are beautiful, but I kind of just got in a rut today and I was like, I need to do something different and out of the box and something that's just super unexpected for me and out of the box for me. Um, so this is what I came up with. I hope you I hope you like this look. Um, just please continue to watch and give me a thumbs up. Let's get started. All right, so I'm gonna start with the NYX Angel Veil. This has been one of my favorite primers to use. I use it on a regular basis. Um, I think it does a really good job of you know, blurring my skin um, and just making my makeup and base go on a little bit more flawless. And yeah, I've already done half of my face because I thought I was shooting a different type of video, but I changed my mind. And so, yeah, we're just gonna roll with it. Let's just pretend. All right, so while that sets in my face, I'm gonna go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. Brow Wiz. I never can get that right the first time. Um, in the color, dark brown and I really enjoy using this pencil it's super pigmented it goes on super easy um, it's a really good pencil do I think that there is a less expensive alternative 100% 100% I think I mentioned that in my brow tutorial video of some less expensive alternatives to this because this is $21 um, it is a good pencil though if you want to spend the money on it but do I think it's 100% necessary mm, not really you can get some really good ones at the drugstore so I know this look is super dramatic but I kind of just got tired of like, like yeah, it's fall, and I'm just I'm just so over the warm tones, the the neutrals, the neutral eyes. I just I had a neutral eye um, look in mind to do, but I took it off. Like I only did half of my face, and I was just like, Ugh, I want to do something different. Like I want some color, even though these colors are definitely not fall but there are no rules in makeup, so I'm gonna do what I wanna do. So I'm gonna start on my eyes and I'm gonna go in with this Tarte Shape Tape. Um, this is a really good concealer. Uh, I think before I said it was like eh, but I really like it to prime my eyes. And I'm going to, I don't normally do this, but um, I'm not going to set my eyelid. I'm just going to just put the concealer on and not use a powder. I know this is like the new trend. People swear by it this way. That makes the colors pop and everything. I don't really see a huge difference either way, either setting it or not setting it. But you know, to each his own. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry. I wanna give that a few minutes. I'll be back back. So I'm gonna start my eyes. Um, the Tarte Shape Tape is kinda, it's still kinda tacky, which is good. Um, the other thing I've been really loving lately is this Urban Decay Born to Run palette. And I've talked about this. I think I talked about this in my last video or so. Um, I know I'm late, but I don't know. I just, I don't know. I love everything about it. Look at the size of this mirror. Like, I don't want to blind you, but look at the size of this mirror. Like, it's huge. Um, the colors in it are so pretty. I just, I don't know. It does it for me. It does it for me. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna move on. I'm gonna move on. I'm gonna take the color Still Shot, 
It's this peachy color right here, but for some reason it shows up on me super pink, which is fine for today because that's kind of the look I'm going for, like a pink purple. And I'm gonna take this Morphe brush. Now, this Morphe brush came in a set. This Morphe brush came in a set, Ulta. Um, so it doesn't have a number on it. It just came into like that little gold packaging. And I really like them. You get like six brushes for like $15. And if you use the coupon, it's like 12. So I'm gonna like lightly put this in my crease and slightly above my crease. I'm going in with a really, really light hand. I'm kind of taking this kind of up towards the brow, like really close, just because I want you to be able to see it once I mix in the other colors. I think that's good. Um, now I'm gonna go in with, what brush did I use? Um, I'm gonna use this, I don't know what this is, the Moda Pro brush, the crease brush. Looks like this. And I'm gonna take the color Hell Rod, this plum color, and I'm gonna put this in my crease so I'm wearing new earrings today I used to not be a hoop person I just thought they didn't look good and I just randomly went to Charm and Charlie's and I picked some up they're on sale and now I'm, I'm slightly obsessed with them just I just love them so much but I only really like them if my hair is up I don't really care for them if my hair is down all right, gotta focus. All right, so I'm gonna take this color and I'm gonna put it in my crease below um, still shot. And I'm going in with a light hand with this as well. Stop there. I'm gonna go back in with the other brush I was using. I think it was this one. Yeah, I think it was. Yeah. I'm gonna go back in with Steel Shot, and it was that peach color from the beginning. And I'm just gonna add that back in the crease just to make sure we're, we don't lose it. And now I'm gonna go in with this Morphe M167 and I'm gonna take the color Wild Heart and it's this pink shimmer color right here and I'm gonna put this all over the lid. So I'm gonna coat my brush with this color. I'm gonna get a lot of it on there and I'm also, I'm also gonna use this MAC Fix Plus. Now this is another one of my favorites lately. Um, I have the Mac Fix Plus, the matte one. I despise this because it leaves little white dots all over my face, even if I shake it up really well. It does make my face matte, but if I don't use a sponge to make sure I get those white spots, it'll leave it everywhere. And I just, I never use it, but then I recently bought the regular one, which I should have did in the first place. Um, it works so much better. My makeup looks so much better. I, yeah, I, I love it. So I'm just gonna put that pink color all over my lid. And this look kind of makes me feel like a genie, which I really love. I remember when I was eight, I think I was eight. Yeah, I was a genie for Halloween and I had this purple costume. I don't know, I think that's when I was watching reruns of I Love Genie at the time. No, 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 I know what I was doing. It's when that Christina Aguilera song, um, Genie in a Bottle came out. And I was just obsessed with that song. And so I had to be a genie for Halloween that year. I think, yeah, that's what it was. 
And this makeup kind of makes me feel like a genie. I'm gonna put on another layer of this color. So I'm gonna pack the color back on the brush. This is like a flat brush. I'm gonna spray some more Fix Plus. I'm gonna do a second layer. Just to make sure it's super opaque. And this color's so pretty. I'm gonna go back in with that, um, what is this? The Moda Pro brush, and I'm gonna take um, that dark purple we were using earlier right here, and I'm gonna go back in the crease. Okay, just a little bit of that. I'm gonna go back in with the Steel Shot, the peach color we used at the very beginning. Add that color back. I'm gonna go ahead and use my NYX, what is this? Body liner, it's called body liner, but I use it as a regular eyeliner. Um, with this, it works really well for me. I've heard that it can make your eye burn. I haven't had that experience, um, so I really like it. And I don't wanna spend a lot of money on the ones from Urban Decay. Um, so I'm gonna quickly put a silver line in my crease. And whenever you do this, use a really, really light hand because if you press it down, it'll make the line thicker and it doesn't look as good. Stop there if I make this line any thicker. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start on my base. And another foundation that I've been really liking is the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop. Um, I've gone through a good amount of this, not quite halfway, but I really like the coverage. It's matte, um, just really like it. It does everything that I need it to. And it's, it's like $14 which is kind of pricey for a, I, I think NYX is drugstore, um, but it works really well. And lately, I don't know, for some reason, I've been getting like darkness around my mouth. So I always put, I've been putting an extra layer just right here. I don't know what that's about. All right, so now I'm going to use this shape tart shape tape. I know I'll go mess it up eventually. But actually, before I use that, I'm gonna use this LA Girl Pro Conceal. I'm in the color Dark Cocoa, and this this is a little bit too dark for my contour, but I'm gonna use it anyway. Um, I remember like four years ago when I started getting into makeup, I used this stuff all the time. Like this is like a fan favorite. Um, and then I don't know why I stopped using it. So this is like an oldie, but a goodie. Um, I'm gonna cream contour my face. And I'm not gonna use a lot, like I said, because it's it's a little 
It's a little dark for me. But it is an ashy tone, which is good. Okay, I'm actually gonna go ahead and blend that out. I'm blending this back into my hairline. And now I'm gonna go in with my Tarte Shape Tape and highlight my face. And I'll put some concealer down here just to get a sharp line. And lately I've been contouring my forehead a little bit differently. I've been making it go up instead of across. Um, just because I think my forehead is already big enough this way. I just need to elongate my face. So that's why I've been doing it that way. some more concealer around my mouth where I'm getting this darkness. I'm not sure what that's about. Put it around my nose right here and right here. I get super red around my nose. Probably because I have terrible allergies. I'm allergic to everything. set my face. I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier powder. I'm sure you've heard of this before. Nothing new. I'm just putting this everywhere that I put the concealer. Alright, okay, while that sits and bakes, I'm going to take my contour brush and I'm going to take the contour palette from Black Radiance and I'm going to be mixing the two darker colors to do my contour and to set the uh, cream contour. And just make sure to blend upwards and not down because I don't want a mustache or a beard. brush away this powder and all the excess powder I just kind of blend into my skin all right so I'm gonna go back to my eyes and I cheated a little bit I used some tape to do my wing liner don't judge don't judge but I just want it to be more precise so I'm just gonna get this tape and put it on the corner and I want to do a small wing um, and I'm also going to use this NYX ink epic ink liner I really this is my favorite one I'm um, out of all the ones that I have I could always go end up going back to this one Yeah, it's so much easier doing a wing liner. Um, you have tape. That's just a little hack. I'm gonna let this dry for a little bit. While that dries, I'm gonna go back in with the Born to Run palette and with my flat shader brush. I'm gonna use the other side of it and take, what color? Guilt Trip, it's this purple shimmer. And I'm going to put it on the outer corner. So I'm going to spray it the same way I did the pink. So I'm going to take a lot of it on my brush and spray. And I'm just going to put this, pack this on the outer corner. All 
right, so my favorite liner has been from Lancome. It's the Le Crayon Coal. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but it's in black ebony. And this eyeliner, it's obviously super small. I've been using it a lot. It's the only one that I can sharpen. I don't know why I can't sharpen any other pencil, but I always mess up. I have like five other pencils. And for some reason, every time I try to sharpen it, it messes it up. So I end up throwing it away. Um, I've even bought the, like the gel liners and it says you can um, sharpen it. Mm -mm. You can't. I've tried it so many times and it just doesn't work. This is the only one that ever works for me. I do have one from Wet n Wild and it's really, really long, but I tried to sharpen that one and it's messed up. Like, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Maybe I just don't know how to sharpen pencils. All right, now I'm gonna go in with the pencil brush. This is just another one from the collection that I got from Ulta, the Morphe's Gold. It's just a pencil brush. And I'm gonna take, I can't remember what colors I used. I'm gonna take Hellrod, the purple. I'm gonna smudge that on my lower lash line. And I'm gonna really take it low. And I'm also dragging this kind of underneath the wing. All right, now I'm gonna take Wild Heart, and that was that shimmer pink from earlier, and I'm gonna smudge that underneath the purple. So this one's gonna be even lower. All right, so another item that I've been really liking is the Too Faced um, Better Than Sex. Um, I just bought the Benefit, what is it called? Brow Gal or something, something like that, because it, it has the serum in it to grow your lashes. I haven't tried it yet, but I just got it. I hope, hopefully I like it. Um, a dupe for this is the Lash Paradise from L'Oreal, I wanna say. I used to have that one. I just wanted to try this one just to see if it really is a dupe, but I think they work really, really similar. Um, another good mascara, the Colossal Big Shot. Um, I really like this one for my lower lashes. Um, the, the Wet n Wild and the Purple Tube, I have that somewhere. That's really good for lower lashes. Um, what other ones do I like? The Monsoor Big from Lancome is good. Their Hypnos mascaras are really good. There's a lot of options, but this is just the one I have on hand. I'm also gonna put some on my lower lash. So my favorite lash right now has been from Kiss and these are the Couture lashes um, in the style boudoir. I don't know what they do for me, but they've been doing it. Just really like them. All right, so while uh, my lash glue it's tacky. I'm gonna go ahead and put on my jewels and these jewels are from Lottie London. I got these um, from Ulta. They were like five or six dollars. Um, I've had them for months and just never used them and today I just feel like being a little bit extra. So I'm just gonna mimic what I have over here. So this is not your everyday fall look. But like I said, I was just over the browns and everything. I just wanted to do something a little bit extra. And before I put this one on, let me go ahead and put my lashes on before they get too dry. Oh, I love these lashes. I just love everything about them. So I have this Wet n Wild Precious Petals. These highlighters in general are just good. Yeah, I've been digging into it quite a bit lately. Um, I'm gonna put use this as an inner corner highlight as soon as I find the brush that I want. Yes. Go me. All right, so I'm just gonna put some on this tiny brush. This is my favorite brush to do inner corner highlight. And I'm gonna spray it with this 
Mac Fix Plus again. I'm just gonna put it right here. Then I'm also gonna put it underneath my brow just to give it good highlight. Now I'm gonna go in with that jewel, the same one I have here. I'm gonna put it on the other side. And I would suggest using tweezers with this, but I just don't feel like looking for mine. And these have like an adhesive on the back already, but if you want it to be like extra, extra sticky, just use um, eyelash glue. And press that down, make sure it doesn't go anywhere. All right, I'm gonna spray my face with the Fix Plus. All right, so I went to Ulta recently and I picked up a package, like a little Christmas package thing, um, a gift set, that's what I'm looking for, um, from Becca. And it came with this lip gloss and this highlighter. And they're both in the color Lilac Geod. I don't even know what that means. But it was $25 for both of these. And, ooh, excuse me, I had to get it. So I, I really, I really love this highlight. It's kind of, it has like a purple hint. It looks like this, it's like purple pink, kind of. And I really, really like it. Focus camera. I really, really love it. It's just so blind. Look at that light, look at that. All right, we're almost finished. Um, let me do my blush. Um, so I'm using this Wet n Wild Color Icon in Mellow Wine. This blush is so pigmented. It's so pigmented. I'd rather use this one over my NARS one. I really just love this color. And they're so pigmented. All right, so I'm gonna line my lips with this NYX pencil. And this is in the color Copenhagen. I'm gonna use this pencil to fill in my lips just a little bit. And I'm really using this for the color. The pencil itself kind of tugs a little bit um, but it's fine. We'll get through. All right, so I'm gonna use a gloss. And I'm gonna be using the Becca, the Lilac one I just talked about. I've said in multiple videos that I am not a fan of lip glosses, but ever since I tried the one with um, Camila Cabello and L'Oreal, I don't know what's happened to me. Something has changed and that's all I've been buying. I don't know, I don't know what's happening with me. And I really love this color. It's like, it smells like minty. So here is my finished look. Um, it's not your everyday fall look and that's exactly what I was going for. Uh, I hope you enjoyed my video. Don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up. See ya.